Hey, Ed from Precision Gun Reviews, and I'm back again, and we're looking at a crossbreed. No, wait, that's not a crossbreed. That's a Bianchi Model 135 suppression holster from their Illusion line, and that's not Illusion, that's Allusion. I don't know why they named it that, but anyway, that's what it is. It's a, um, it's a hybrid style holster. It's got a leather backing and this is leather also however the shell is made of a, a polycarbonate material it's a plastic high impact plastic wrapped in leather and we have a leather backing here and on the other side of the leather backing we have a very nice material this is an incredibly pliable backing and it makes it super comfortable this is very similar in feel in terms of how pliable it is to something like that Nate Squared Tactical Holster that we showed you in an earlier video. It's very pliable, it's very very comfortable. It's it's more comfortable I would say than a standard leather backed hybrid holster and um, this shell here is actually a plastic polycarbonate on the inside and I would imagine that means that it is less likely to wear the parts of your gun that are retained with these detents and and such. Um, overall, it's a very very well made holster. It's, the gun fits wonderfully. It's got it's got the backing in all the right places. Sweat guard here. It does not cover the mag release, which I'm not a huge fan of, but it covers the trigger guard. This moisture wicking material really is great for long days of carry in warmer weather. Um, you're not going to feel it getting gross if you're sweating, which we all do. Um, it's, the stitching, as we've seen in some other Bianchi holsters, is not the most uh, high... <laughs> it's not the highest example of quality craftsmanship. You see a lot of the the little threads hanging out and it's a little funky, but it's all, it's attached well, we'll say that. It is made in Mexico. Um, the retention is excellent. It's, uh, being an inside the waistband, it doesn't have to be incredibly tight and it's not. If I really shook this, I could probably shake it out. And that's upside down. But you're going to have your belt going over the top of it. And that makes it easier to draw and reholster. And it's very smooth. It, um, it feels a lot like some of the Comtac holsters that I really love. Uh, it snaps in and out nicely. And I like the fact that it is a different sort of material that it that it is this pliable back and that it is a polycarbonate instead of a kydex I just know that a lot of people are sometimes concerned about wear on their gun like I don't really care anymore I used to I used to really be a little concerned but for something like this my my uh, 9c which is my carry weapon you know it's a self-defensive weapon it's it's there to work so it's worn out you know, and that's fine. Um, the I always talk about the sight channel on this holster. It's uh, sort of medium. It, it's not one of those high channels that's going to let you have really tall sights, but it's not as low as something like uh, what did we show you recently, the Blackhawk Check Six. But the fact that it is made of polycarbonate means that it's very slick in there. So it, it's very unlikely to, to hang up in any way, and it's not going to get crap all over your gun. It's not going to hold in moisture. It's not going to hold in dirt. It's an open bottom. It is a slide-style holster, so you can use a larger gun. It has the backing there for something all the way out to the full size, which is nice to know. And um, <coughs> like I said, with uh, one of the other, the, the Bianchi PI, it does accommodate some other guns. If not fully retained, then just held in there, just accommodated for. So that's good if you want to have 
something else in your in your waistband, maybe at the range, you know, where where retention is not of the utmost importance. Uh, as you can see, I've been drawing and reholstering this a lot. I, I kind of really like the way that it fits in and out of there. Um, it has plastic clips, not metal. Um, some people will not be happy about that, and we don't know exactly how well this is retained in there because it. It's got a soft backing over here. I have yet to see any problem with it. I just know that it's a soft material, and when you're screwing something into a soft material, it's it's more likely to come loose. But um, more importantly, these are plastic. They're strong plastic, so I haven't seen any problems with them, but they are C-clips, so they are less obvious on your belt, but they're harder to put on each day. They're kind of annoying. But um, once they're on, it's it's almost an invisible holster, and uh, it goes up over the the waistband, over the waistband, behind the back of the belt, and these two pieces come in front of the belt, and it's tuckable, as you can see there. So it's got a lot of the benefits of a lot of these hybrid holsters, uh, like the Crossbreed, that is probably the most popular. But I think it's a better design. I would. If I had to choose, I would choose this over a crossbreed or over another leather-backed holster with the Kydex shell. Also, this one has these adjustable clips that can tilt a little bit forward or a little bit back. So if you want it to ride a little bit like that, it can. If you want it to ride a little bit like that, it can. You just unscrew that and screw it back in. Just rotate these a little bit. And that's a good feature. Um, it's a little strange because if you do rotate it, the the height is a little bit off um, but when you get it in there and like get it situated on your waist and the belt through there it it all works out just fine now the backing this is a patent pending design um, I said it's really comfortable but it's it's really comfortable um, it's not as comfortable maybe as that Nate squared suede backing and just to feel it it feels like it could be itchy because it, it's, it's got that sort of, um, it's got that sort of texture that feels like it could be scratchy, but when it's on your body, um, it just feels very breathable. You know, these, these holes provide space for air to circulate between the solid portion of the holster and your skin, and that is, that's really great. <clears throat> because, I mean, as you know, if you carry a weapon, you carry it for many hours on end a lot of the time, you know, 8, 10 hours, 12 hours, 30, whatever, as long as you're out. And um, it's nice to know that this is not going to feel like crap after a long day. And uh, it's just, it's good. Anything that makes you more comfortable carrying is going to mean that you're going to carry more often. Um, talking about the workmanship, I just I'm looking here. You can see like it's not really it's not masterwork. It, you can see there's like a little crease there. The stitching is not perfect, and that's something that I seem to be noticing about this Bianchi gun leather and their their stitching work. It's not the ultimate in fine leather work, but it's available at a decent price and. Um, the design is very very good I, I really do like this holster and like I said for a hybrid style inside the waistband tuckable for comfort for long-term carry for a little bit of versatility with this slide version and the ability to, to stick something else in there for the sweat shield for the fact that it's not going to wear the finish on your gun rapidly, for all those reasons, I think this is a great holster. Um, I would, I would recommend this. Uh, if you don't like something huge and bulky under your waistband, maybe this is not the thing for you. You might want to go for something that clips right on top of the gun. But this keeps a slim profile. It distributes the weight evenly. And the fact that this one is so pliable means that this doesn't matter as much. It'll wrap around your body much easier than uh, than maybe a crossbreed or, or some other leather-backed holster. 
Uh, over time, those do wear in, though, so please don't misunderstand me. I'm, I'm just comparing with things that people are familiar with. I'm not trying to tear anything down. I think Crossbreed makes one of the best holsters out there, and that's why they're famous for it. Um, <clears throat> but this Bianchi Illusion Suppression Model 135, geez, they didn't really know how to name them. Um, it's, it's great. It's a great alternative, and it's, um, it's the implementation of new technology uh, that I think is wonderful about holster manufacturing moving forward. You know, it's not all leather anymore, and it's not all kydex anymore, and it's not all just leather and kydex anymore. Now we have different materials that we've learned can be better or more comfortable or what have you. They have different qualities and different benefits, and this one shows that the different materials do have benefits and they are tangible and um, they're definitely worth checking out this Bianchi 135 um, I do recommend that one um, that's about it this is Ed Precision Gun Reviews thanks for watching give us a thumbs up like us subscribe if you want to see our new videos coming out and uh, as always till next time stay safe